Our Weed of the Week is a tough annual vine. It's Ivy Leaf Morning Glory. Oh boy, when we talk about vines, Brian, it's, it's just so critical to get a pre-emerge herbicide out there because once these types of plants start vining out, think about that. If you're just trying to get coverage on a little weed, that's one thing, but when that weed can vine out and spread underneath your crop canopy and wrap around uh, it, it's it's really tough to get. So get after it early with your pre-emerge herbicide, but also with your post. Don't wait. Don't wait till that corn's big. If you got vines like Ivy Leaf Morning Glory, get going. Well, corn, beans, any crop that we're talking about. And here's the challenge. We have resistance issues, or I shouldn't even necessarily say resistance, at least tolerance. Roundup has never been that great. The HVPDs have never been that great. So you've got to be at least a little more particular about what you're going to use for Ivy Leaf Morning Glory. All right, let's talk about control methods, and we'll start with soybeans. Use the three pre-program that we often talk about using one of the PPOs, Authority or Valor, plus Metribuzin, plus one of the yellows like Trifluralin or Pro. Okay, post-emerge in soybeans, things have gotten a lot easier. Now that we have Enlist, we have Extend, we have Liberty Link, all those traits or the herbicides you can use over the top of those traits can be pretty effective. Other than, like we said earlier, Roundup is not the best. But I'll tell you what, you put Roundup together with that Cambo or Roundup together with 2,4-D, it's like a whole different product. In corn, I like Verdict down, but you could also use Triple Flex or Sure Start. In many cases, those are a little bit cheaper. Post-emerge, my favorite product to use on Ivy Leaf Morning Glory would be Status. All right, in wheat, I would start with Sharpen, follow post-emerge with something like Wide Match, and then throw a little bit of Affinity in there as well. Now, certainly you could throw some 2,4-D out. We just don't like 2,4-D on wheat. We think it's a little bit hard on the wheat. Oh, and I should also mention the HPPD chemistry is not good on this weed. So that's why we didn't say Husky, even though there is some bromoxanil in there. The HPPD component's not really good on Ivy Leaf Morning Glory. And on the corn side, there are a lot of HPPD products that are pretty cheap, but they're not very effective on Ivy Leaf Morning Glory. Yep, so that's why we were saying you just have to be a little bit more selective on your herbicide choices. I know the HPPDs are great, and I know Roundup is great on a lot of weeds, but neither of those are very good on Ivy Leaf Morning Glory. That's all the time we have for this week's weed, but Iron Talk is coming up next.